Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the second week of June reads. I'll start from the 8th through the 14th of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what is coming up for you for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards, messages from your person and color cards in this read. So stay tuned. And now uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so javanize let's see what can you expect in this week time um so let's dive into the read ten of wands nine of pentacles Wow, Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, wow, I feel like you, you are kind of going on and off around something, underneath the deck we do have the helmet, um, there is something which is bothering you right now to the point where you really want to let it go, let it kind of, you know, uh, leave it behind basically, it can be a relationship situation, it can be a burdensome situation that you're currently dealing with at your work front. There is something that you really want to push aside and move forward with your life. You really don't want to focus on to it right now. Um, it can be a, tra a traumatic situation that you're currently dealing with in your love life as well. But whatever the case is, you don't want to deal with it more. You feel like giving up on it. You feel like moving on from it. You really want this uh, thing to end because uh, you feel that you, you have something better to do right now than focusing on to this. Um, and you really want to move uh, ahead with your life uh, without giving much of your energy to it because you feel that this is something that you should let go of. This is something which adds nothing good to your life. So even if it's a connection, it has been adding nothing good to your life. If it, even if it's a relationship situation, you really want to break free from it. Maybe the connection is getting toxic. You want to put an end to that connection. Maybe um, you, you, uh, you are waiting for, for the situation to end so you could... Uh, follow or pursue your dreams your desires it can be a work life situation as well where you might be feeling kind of you know tied to a workload or uh, situation you really want to break free from it but i feel like you are giving up on it you are going to quit be that a love life situation be that a work life situation i do see you quitting it um you want something for yourself now you you might have been in a toxic connection you might have been dealing with a person who was uh, not committing to you really fi uh, feel kind of tired for uh, investing yourself into it you really want to let it go now because you really feel like you you missed uh, giving yourself the love uh, that you have been giving to other people um, you want to take care of yourself now you want to focus on yourself right now you want to focus on your dreams right now which are all about you, which has nothing to do with the other person. So for some of you, you might be ending a connection that has been adding nothing good to your life. Maybe it's a marriage situation that was toxic. You really want to break free from that because you have something uh, on your mind that you want to pursue for yourself. Maybe you have a, uh, another person who you love, you want to pursue that, but this has to end before you could have it. So it can be different for different Geminis, but I feel like, yes, you want to put an end to the situation and you want to focus on yourself. Um, I do see you giving up. I do see you quitting uh, that situation. Now, um, you really don't want to deal with it, but at the same time, um, you don't find a way to break free from it as well. You want to give up on it. You want to kind of, you know, end that connection and that situation. You want to focus yourself. It's just, it's more like a wishful thought. But somehow you feel like you cannot work towards it. You cannot make things happen. You cannot break free. You cannot, um, you know, focus on yourself right now because uh, something keeps you kind of, you know, tied to the situation. So it can be different things. It can be your own mental blocks. Maybe you're feeling like maybe you have to deal with this person, deal with this connection. You're finding it hard to break free from that pattern that you have been having in your love life with this person. For others of you, it can be a black magic or evil energy's influence, which is the reason why you are finding it hard to break free from that. It can be your own addictions to the suffering that you have had with this person, which is keeping you there. It can be some legal matters which is still keeping you with this person that you want to leave behind so i feel like you know you are you know no doubt you want to break free from this person from this connection from this situation you want to focus on yourself right now but you're finding it hard to 
you know do so so i feel like you know this week is going to be the time where you have to think through things where you have to spend some time alone so you could figure out what is the best thing for you to do right now in the given situation because i do see that yes there is some sort of blockages coming up for you during this week time in regards to the situation that you're currently having because i do see that you are wishful i do see that you want to break free badly but i don't see you being able to do so so because of there there is some sort of um um block that i can see here coming for you now again it will be different for different people it can be your own um mental blocks around the current situation that you might feel like you know oh my god you cannot break free from it uh because of so and so maybe people maybe culture maybe religion maybe this maybe that but whatever it is i feel like you know this is something that you can still work towards uh but yes for that to understand for that to think you have to spend some time alone during this week time then only you will be able to break free from the current situation so let's see the messages from your person let's see what do they have to say to you whoever it is be that a new person be that the current one that you're leaving behind whoever it is that you have on your mind let's see what are their messages for you i am trying to work on my mental blocks i feel like you know um this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, maybe they also have a lot of mental blocks around this connection. And right now they want you to know that, look, I'm dealing with the mental blocks right now. So let me have this time to break free from this uh, situation. For some of you, you could be dealing with the same sign as well, where they are also going through the same situation in their personal life and they are trying to break free from their mental and emotional blocks as well. Now, for some of you, it could be in an extramarital affair as well. Maybe they are already married to another person. Maybe you are already married to a person and then you want to be together. Uh, the grass was not green on the other side. This person really wants you to know that this is something that they are unhappy with right now. Um, they thought that it's going to be easy for them maybe they married to another person because of something that happened in the in their personal life and now they are finding it hard to break free from that as well maybe you are also dealing with the same situation um or maybe you are leaving a person who has been keeping you hanging in there and uh was not giving you commitment because they were stuck in a situation like that uh it can be you yourself also having the same situation i got scared of the commitment so i left i feel like you know your person whoever it is that you're dealing with they definitely have commitment issues as well maybe you are married and they they don't want to commit to you right now because they feel like you know it's going to be adding a lot of pressure to them so it's going to be different for different gemini's but i feel like yes there could be a third body situation here as well which is the reason why your love life is blocked um as well so somebody is really scared of uh, this third party situation uh or the situation where you know maybe there is some sort of religious factors coming in the in the in the love life situation as well so let's see the color cards here let's see what color could be significant or lucky for you for this week time gray learn to scan your body number 29 for some of you i feel like you know um there is somebody who's uh, who's having some um um you know physical issues as well here it can be you it can be your person as well uh gray color is going to be significant for you 29th of this month could also be a significant date for you but i feel like uh somebody has to learn and to scan their body right now as well when i say body it doesn't mean just the physical body mental body emotional body as well so try to understand what is blocking your love life right now what is blocking your path right now it is going to be a message for the cross watcher as well because i do see the both of you have some blocks coming up for you for some of you it could be mental for others of you it can be um you know societal it can be uh for others of you it can be evil energies as well which could be blocking your love life too so let's see the oracle guidance here for you let's see what the divine has to add to the read for you guys what is the oracle message for you in the given situation for this week time spread your wings and do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar it's very important right now for you to not let your fears hold you back from taking the right actions right now um again it's very important if you feel like breaking free from something don't hold yourself back don't let the fears uh, stop you from uh, taking right action there and i feel like uh, maybe it's the same message for the person that you're dealing with as well and the cross watcher as well let's see the other message the last message of this card is attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully i feel like you know somebody really wants to enjoy their life right now um i feel like you know i don't know why i feel like uh, you are stuck in a situation somehow now maybe there is a family pressure building up on you as well which could be the reason why you're you're uh, you are unable to do the things that you want to do 
and uh, you want to break free from it but at the same time there is nothing that you can you feel that you can do right now but trust me there is still a way to find a uh, you know a resolution to the current ongoing issues but you have to uh spend some time you know uh in isolation with yourself to figure out what can be done right now in the given situation to to end the situation and to have the desirable outcome from the given situation so that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help to like share, and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye